So, Jesse, can I talk to you for a moment? Oh, Mark Radlich, t- talk to me. Jesse, I want to share something with you that I learned about recently. Oh, okay. So All the, right, then. It's just wiener. <laughs> I mean, when isn't it? But besides, well, funny you mentioned that. Let me get there. So, <laughs> don't you shake your head at me. Please, you knew, please don't. You, please knew don't. Where, you knew this is where this relationship was going. Oh, Stop pretending like you don't. Get me out of here. I had a friend come over um, a couple of weekends ago, and we were talking music. And you know, it's a, it's a, it's this one of two ways to engage me: talk about interesting music or talk about interesting movies. And he was, we were just kind of having that conversation. Mick, you know how this goes: where you're talking to somebody, and you're really getting to know each other, and you're just playing music for each other. Like, oh, you like that? You should hear this. And like, oh, okay, well, you should hear this. My favorite. One of the great things about so one of the great things about having like you know the internet and music is you can just like, go on your phone and be like listen to this shit right here and it's you know whatever so you hear this and then put this in your brain. so he starts telling me i we were talking about like for whatever reason we were talking about like jazz and like i, I think i had mentioned like candiria um one that sounds like the drummer wrote the music two they always had like a like a real jazz influence to their music and then you know, I was talking about you know the use of like brass instruments and metal and stuff like that. Obviously, the, you know the use of brass instruments and in ska music. And he was like, "So you like jazz and brass, bi- big band sounds and music, do you? Like jazz. In your metal, you like jazz. So you like you jazz. like jazz." <laughs> and he goes, "Mark, he called me Mark because that's my name." He said, "Mark, that's nice." As you do. Yeah. Have you heard of Clowncore? Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, some of you get it. Some of you need an explanation. Get Are this. we talking about Down with the Clown or like? Uh, so he played a bunch of this shit for me. And oh, no. Is you, it a bunch of Juggalo shit? No. Listen, listen, child. Clowncore <laughs> is an American musical duo. It is composed of two anonymous artists who wear clown masks speculated to be drummer Lewis Cole of Indietronic Jazz Funk Band Knower. Not Mathcore, Jesse. It's not Mathcore. No, well, yeah. Yeah. Last thing I want to do let's not set off, off the Mathcore people. Commoncore? Ah. Indietronic. Core. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jesse, write that down. That's going to be a session. Uh, Commoncore. <laughs> We're doing Commoncore. Commoncore. If you make this Perfect. podcast a math thing, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Lewis Cole of the Indie Tronica Jazz Funk Band Knower and Sam Gendel, a saxophonist and frequent Cole collaborator. The eponymous album Clown Core was released in 2010. The album Toilet followed eight years later. Their album Van was released in 2020. The EP 1234 <laughs> was going to name o- objects. That's what our <laughs> that's what our album titles are. Just their objects. Pro- their projects are all self released, and I'm now obsessed with this I'm, fucking band. I'm uh, not surprised. Not surprise me at either ha- man. No okay, way. so did any when I said clown chord, did anyone know specifically what the fuck I was talking about, or like they thought it was something different? I thought it was something different. Okay, no, I have. I had. I no thought idea it was, what it was fucking like. insane clown posse. Well, yeah. <laughs> it is not. Um, <laughs> so, the videos, I want to play two videos, that the two videos that he played for me. But I want to read this to you really quick before I do. After eight years, their second album, Toilet, <laughs> was released in March of 2018. Jesse, this is why Sessions is so brilliant, because it takes nothing now to make music. These guys did it, you know. So I would do I, right now. I would hop onto Suno and type in Clown Core and do an instrumental just to see what it did yeah. and see if it compared. But please, that, we'll have to do that at a future session. Purpose music. <clears throat> next, next, actually, next Metal Hammer of Doom um, jukebox. That that should be your segment based on this. But anyway, um, <laughs> so after eight years, their second album, Toilet, released March 2018, accompanied by music videos of them performing the tracks in a portable toilet. Yep, they did it in a porta potty. <laughs> These was it, was it a used porta potty? This is art. Yes, please continue. So this is why I thought Mick might. <laughs> they are artists. <laughs> this is why I thought Mick might have known who they were because these music videos were also shown on Adult Swim's Smalls program, exposing them to a wider audience. Oh, neat. Okay. Celia Whitus of the German magazine Metal Hammer described the music as 
far removed from any music genre. In his review of the song Hell 2018, an analysis of the accompanying music video, Axel Rosenberg of heavy metal news website Metal Sucks called the product a masterpiece of modern art and described the song as <laughs> genre defying. Of course they will. Uh, what does the angry metal guy think, though? Yeah, oh, yeah. that's we, a Jesse we need, question. We need his input. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, none of us have. I, I mean, I have. I've listened to these already, but you guys have are not you? Seen these is this before. our video? Oh my gosh! We're, we're, oh, this geez. is going to be a video, a, a video heavy <laughs> show, because I have to show you. Back, I don't know. I have Meanwhile, to... on OnlyFans. <laughs> Yeah, I first off, very much respect the fact that they are attempting to get all of these <laughs> instruments into a porta potty and That's play. Impressive. Like, how the fuck do they do that? Yeah, there's. I mean, you a have little to... little elbow grease <laughs> and re and regular grease. All oh, my, my turns go <laughs> straight to hell. It's all get from darkness <laughs> itself. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say every time I take a shit. <laughs> oh my god, go straight to hell. Yes, go on. Uh, smells like feces and brimstone in here. Can we take a minute to appreciate his saxophone? I, I mean, <laughs> it's just so sad nobody is around that porta potty to hear this happen. <laughs> oh, they probably all are. <laughs> With the tear in my eye, this might be the greatest moment of my life. <laughs> I will, yeah, that's impressive. What the actual There's some Fantastic. fucking wackety Saxons. Yeah, that is some wackety sax, baby. So, you can dance it? to it, though. Oh, yeah. I'm a, I can't dance to it. I, I can dance good. I go to classes for it. <laughs> that's the end. No, wait. Yeah, that's the end. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. What the fuck was that? Wow. <laughs> It just makes me wonder how much those guys fuck. I have never. I don't know. I just like you know you're you're at a point where you're just like okay, what am I going to do with my life? Well, <laughs> I'm going to record. I'm gonna... <laughs> well, I'm a trained <laughs> saxophonist. Okay, and all right. What, what's the best venue you can think of? <laughs> Everybody go nightclub. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some sort of orchestra. Oh no! This shit, Porta this potty. shit belongs in the shitter. Okay. Oh, oh, that that gives me an idea. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> what do you like to do? I like to play my saxophone while taking a shit. I have uh, an idea. That was brilliant, actually. I mean, I, I I really do love what they did there. Yeah, I think it's actually very interesting. Really the yes. music aspect. It was like it was actually really good. <laughs> but, yeah. It, yeah. It, I. I, here's the, the thing, like, as we're all metal people, so when he's doing the death metal growl and that kind of, like, breakbeat the, death metal drumming. The fucking blast beats, yeah. Yeah, blast beats. Like, I can't play that for a lot of people because, like, that's going to be, as my coworker would say, that would give her anxiety. But the saxophone's so good. Let's see. It is good. I'll leave her alone. She's an Arab princess. Um, but, <laughs> bully. I don't care. Uh, I'm sure you don't. <laughs> Pussy bitch. <laughs> yeah. Pussy princess. I'll make sure I Beautiful it. Arab woman. <laughs> <laughs> but that saxophone fucking, that saxophone fucks, Jesse. You know it does. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, you cannot yeah. deny that. There's, I mean. That thing goodness. is not a condom in sight. That is raw dog in my eardrums. <laughs> next time. Next time we need some sleazy saxophone on the Suno. You just let <laughs> one. <laughs> just <like> clown core. <laughs> The clown core. That's where we're going. Well, I have that... another one for you, Jesse. Oh. oh, good. Jesse, we we haven't quite, we're not quite ready to leave the toilet. Oh. <laughs> oh, do they oh, do okay. all their, wait, I have a question. Do yes. they do all their videos like this? No, this album, okay. yes. This album, t <laughs> one, this album, toilet. Um, Yeah, so this clown core, toilet, van, and 1234. Uh, toilet was recorded all in a toilet, but van was recorded. Get this, all oh, in a van. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Now I get the theme. Now you get it. Oh you wow! Get it? What about one, two, three? Where's that? In a phone? One, in a call center. That's fun. I was. 
<laughs> you know, my dumb ass was like, do they do it in a church because numbers? <laughs> okay. All right, so here we go. This is... Now, Jesse, I'm going to need you to pay special attention to how he plays the keyboard in this. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Oh, 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 I need oh, you to oh. qu quit drifting off, quit, quit playing Marvel Snap with your naked friend, Evan Bevins. I need <laughs> to pay attention to how he All plays right. his keyboard. All I'm, right, I'm, I'm watching everything here. All right. Okay. Get I need to watch this closely, too. I, I, I need, need to, to figure put out your, what the hell is going on. <laughs> put your eyeballs on that keyboard. ever turn my pizza inside out. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, I will not be tolerant. God. <laughs> Come on. This is what Gen Alpha wants. This is the skibbity toilet. Oh. <laughs> I knew he was going to use his penis. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that face is fucking priceless, Jesse. <laughs> what? I, I was wait. Guy. I was like, no way he's gonna use his dong. <laughs> I love it so much. Dude. But you know what? He's in the bathroom. It's allowed. He's holding can, it. Can Let's we talk about it. how while his dick is out, he's also playing a mean saxophone? And the fact that he's managed to keep the note going, that <laughs> is <laughs> some <laughs> extreme <laughs> pin-style <laughs> fortitude. Withdrawal. I have yeah. never seen a penis used so well. And I've seen a lot of penis use, penises being used. Wow. Boy, howdy have you. Especially that guy tanning his wiener. Wow. <laughs> Good old Mac like dick. I, I think we can fairly say that might be the best moment in the history of the Metal Hammer of Doom boop jukebox I, since I yeah. made a passive-aggressive song about my ex-wife. Right, Jesse? No argument here. <laughs> I, I'm oh, I remember that. That was a beautiful song. Hang on. We all just trampled over Mick. What'd you say, Mick? <laughs> I said I'm glad I, I showed up at this time. Yeah, really. You you have appeared at a monumental show. This was fantastic. I'm <laughs> <laughs> so glad. <laughs> Jesse, now that you know the clown core is in your life, are you running right now to Suno.ai? I already did it. I already <laughs> did it. I'm what listening right now. Piano's involved, I'll tell you that much, but I didn't get much further into it. So no, okay. uh doesn't say anything about penises being used. But... <laughs> it doesn't say that it's not been used. Exactly. This is this is so good. I, uh, I have, cock. I have to thank my friend Steve uh, for showing this. So a couple of other notes 100%. about the fan. Clown Corey's YouTube channel was created in 2008. Their first video is a performance of their song Surreal Serial from their Clown Core album. Uh, after uploading their channel semi frequently, they disappeared completely in 2011. They went back to their home planet, is what they did. After three <laughs> years of complete silence, they uploaded a video titled Question Mark that featured what happened to Clown Core in red text. Then they disappeared again. <laughs> it's fucking like a television show. It's Guar. Um, like they're hanging out with Guar somewhere is what happened. They did something with Morse code that says we are in a toilet and we are still alive. Uh, and I read you this stuff about toilet already. Um, in August, the duo uploaded a video called The Infinite Realm of Incomprehensible Incom Suffering. The story of Robert Winfrey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we love you, He's Robert. We're so tired of this shit. <laughs> oh, We're tired of it. We're tired of it. <laughs> We're featuring new music and audio at uh, at the end, which features another spectrograph that shows clowns along with bold text that top reads, it has begun. Yeah, and yeah, then band came out. Okay. So yeah, that's it. What do you think, Jesse? Wow. My mind is blown. I mean, I, I don't think there'll be anything that tops clown core. I you know, at first I was I thought you were talking about a genre. Right. Yeah, I didn't realize it was going to be a band. And uh, yeah, I mean, wow, something else. It is. That's the TikTok segment, Jesse. That's Brilliant. the TikTok segment. Brilliant. It, <laughs> I, uh, I for one was getting some great Mr. Bungle vibes. Yeah. I'll tell you, right. I uh, when I was a kid, uh, when I, you know, as Jesse knows, we're not young, we ain't kids anymore. I had no tolerance for Mr. Bungle. I just I, I needed music to sound with this to have rhythm, you know. <laughs> I needed to sound like music, not Mike Patton running 
running through a fucking music store, knocking over instruments and going, song. Ta-da! You know, like, Ta-da! 